Have you ever set goals for your development as a musician? They can be super helpful, but the way that most musicians set them, they usually don't actually deliver the huge leaps forwards that are possible when you set them properly. In this video, I'll show you how to combine a longer term vision with shorter term goals so that you massively accelerate the progress that you make. And this is the same approach that's used by top performers in all walks of life, musicians, athletes, and many more. And at its heart, this is all about pushing yourself to think about what might just be possible rather than what's probable. And if you want to go long distances and make real paradigm shifts rather than just fiddling around and making slight improvement at the edges, then this is a big part of how to do it. So let's talk a little bit here about what I mean by goals and visions. So a goal is a specific outcome that feels pretty probable that you will get there if you keep working at it. And it's probably going to be in a pretty close time frame. So you can see it not that far down the track. And this is, this is an outcome focused way of looking at things. Whereas a vision is something that is much further off and it only feels possible. It might feel on the edge of possible. It certainly doesn't feel probable that you're definitely going to get there. And this is going to be a much more process focused thing. It's a journey that you're going to have to go down to get there. And it's a lot further off. It's a lot less clear. The path may be a whole lot more elements on the way. And it may not even be a very clearly defined end goal. It may be more like a compass point, a direction of travel that you're heading in. You're never going to reach the end, but you can tell where it is that you're going. And so these visions are much more process focused and they usually, and they should be, attached to a deeper meaning. So that's one of the big differences between goals and visions in that this vision is something that's going to get your heart beating fast. It matters to you. You care about it. And it's also going to feel a little bit scary. It's something that's possible, but it's something that's big and it's challenging. And you should be questioning, really, am I able to achieve this? It should be on that edge of things where it feels, it feels really difficult. So it's got purpose. It's got meaning. It's a future that's big, audacious, possibly even radical. And you should have those questions about whether it's possible for you to achieve it. And goals are great. They're really important. We'll see exactly why in a second. But a lot of people just stop there rather than having that big vision of what's possible. And that will really limit the progress that you can make as a musician. And there's two reasons why this is the case. The first is, is the reasonably obvious one that if you're not aiming at a really big vision, if your goals are much smaller, then you might just not go as far. You're not stretching yourself as much. But the other danger is that when you don't have one big vision guiding things, those goals you have could be pulling in a whole load of different directions. And so each time you hit one, yes, you're making some progress, but they're not lining up and contributing to one really big movement in the same direction. They're kind of going off, not really aligning, not really pulling together to get you where you want to go. And so when they're done properly, the goals become the stepping stones that you're going to use to reach your vision. And so you need that vision in place to map out the right goals so that you're going to be really satisfied with the progress that you make. Do you currently have a genuine vision for where you're going? Or is it just a set of small individual goals? Let me know in the comments below. So when you've got both a big vision and those goals that are the stepping stones to get there, how do you use both? And the answer is that they're both really important at different times. The goal, sorry, the vision is what's really going to keep driving you forward, help you know where you're going. So to fit the right goals in there. But if you have that in mind on a daily basis, when you're doing just today's practice, 
when you're giving that one performance and it's all about, am I reaching that vision? That's not going to be helpful. It's too far off. It's going to feel like you'll never get there. It's going to feel like you're falling short because you're not there already. That is the time when those individual goals become really important because you can be there in that practice session and just think, what is this little goal that I'm working on now? What is this one next step? And that is doable. It is actionable. There's a very clear, specific exercise or whatever it is that you have to do that you know is getting you to that intermediate goal and you can see progress every day. Whereas if you're focusing on that far off vision, it feels tough. It feels like you might never get there and it's really hard to see, see the progress you're making. So vision for mapping out where you're going in the long term and for working out what those goals are and then and you'll work, as you're working on a day-to-day -day basis, keep your eye on the goals rather than the vision. But there is something else really important that that vision is doing for you. Remember that it is something you feel connected to. It really gets your heart beating. And so it's a great source of motivation. This reminds you why it is that you're doing the work, why you're practicing music, why you're performing music. And so a great time to reconnect with the vision is just before a practice session or just before a performance. And so just check in, where is it that I want to go? Why does this mean something to me? Feel that motivation and then get into the thing you're doing and focus then when you've got that motivation already there on what is the goal for today? What is that one little thing that I can do? That one next step along the path. And you really want to reconnect to this vision regularly to keep that motivation up because on any path that's worth taking, things will get difficult at points and it's really easy to get discouraged. And this is exactly where that vision is going to be the thing that is going to help you keep going, keep motivated, keep making progress, push on through, break through to the other side. So let's talk briefly about how you go about picking a vision, finding the vision that's right for you. And I'm just going to talk about the vision here because remember that the vision comes first and then you pick goals that are going to get you to that vision. So we'll leave goals for some other time. But the first thing to remember when you're picking this vision is that it's got to mean something to you. It's got to really get your heart beating fast. So think first, what, you know, why is it that I'm interested in music? Where is it that I want to go? What is it that really makes me sit up and get excited? And you also want to remember that it wants to be something stretching enough that it has you questioning whether it will be possible for you. So what gets you excited and what feels challenging, feels maybe like you're being a little bit too ambitious. And remember also that the vision is, is this thing quite a long way off. It's, it's gonna be a bit of a paradigm shift. It's not just changing around the edges. So there's probably going to be a variety of different things that you'll need to sort out to get there. It's not just going to be, if I do this one linear chain of a few different exercises, I'll be there. There may be things about your musical ability, your knowledge of music, um, people you know to play with, all those different things. Um, could be a whole load of things around mindset, other areas, whatever it is, there'll probably be a few different strands that you need to get to your vision. And you'll have to pick your own vision. Remember, something, something really stretching that gets you excited, but some things might be to record your own album, to lead your own band, to perform at a particular venue, or maybe it's just to get recognition for the music that you're playing from other people. And that could be anything from you know, the top pros in the world, depending on whether you're you know, professional or amateur musician, or it could just be from some of your friends. You know, whatever fits your situation, what is it that would make you feel really good about breaking on through to the next level in your music? And the biggest issue I see with people when setting their visions is that they keep them too small. They stay restricted rather than really going for something stretching. So I just want to give you three traps to avoid that come up a lot of the time. And the first is for 
what you believe is possible for you. So it could be about where you come from. People from a town like mine can never achieve that. Or the type of person you are. You know, some, someone who's working a full-time job is never going to reach that level as a musician. So any beliefs you have around what situation you are in, what kind of person you are, oh, no one from my family has ever done this. Try and forget all those. They're just, they're just limiting beliefs. And the second thing that I see that causes people to think small is worrying about time restrictions, thinking, oh, oh, I'm far too busy with other things. There's no way I can possibly go after a big goal like this. But I just want you to remember that actually it's, it's incredible what can be done in a small amount of time if you're focused and disciplined. So don't restrict your vision just because you think, oh, I'll never have time for that. It's always worth, you know, shooting really, really high and then maybe not quite reaching it, but achieving really exciting things than it is setting the bar too low and then you get there, but you just never realise you could have, could have gone so much further if you'd really gone for it. And the third trap that people fall into that means that they often set visions that are too small is they get trapped by past results. So just remember that your past does not have to determine your future. Just because you think, oh, well, I tried something like this or I did something else in the past and it worked out like that, therefore I can't go for this big vision. It doesn't have to be that way. You can change things if you'd like, so don't use that as an excuse not to dream big. Now, if you'd like to know more about how best to take goals into account when you're actually performing music, then check out my video on that next. And if you'd like the special practice and performance tips that I only share with subscribers, then head on over to playinthezone.com and sign up for the emails. They're free. I've been Mark Morley Fletcher. Thanks so much for watching. Click below to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And while you're down there, why not hit the share button to pass this on to other musicians? Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.